welcome back to my YouTube channel, or if you're new here, welcome. Today is an auction day. Uh, there's an estate auction that I'm headed to. Um, the person had what looked like kind of like a machinist shop in their backyard. They had a big shed. Uh, supposed to be a big auction, lots of tools, so I'm hoping to find some interesting items there. We'll see what we get. All right, so here is the load of stuff that I bought. It's actually not that much stuff compared to what I usually buy at auctions like this, but I did go trying for more of the quality over quantity this time. I spent $320 for all this stuff, and so we'll go through it and see what we got. We've got a decent little igloo cleat cooler here. We've got a uh, plug cover there. Power Glide Hammer Drill. A hammer Drill, so that's decent, even though it's not like a name brand. Uh, hammer Drills are still good. Brand new organizer there. What's this? Got a next book from Intel. A little tablet there. I'll check that out. Got a bunch of change down in the bottom here. Odds and ends looks like inside there. Maybe a little bit of jewelry. All right. This so looks like a hodgepodge of all kinds of different stuff in here. This is an LED outdoor light. Looks brand new. Is there any sort of name on that? I don't know, but I'll look and see if I can find one. Might have some value. Remote control cable. What do we have here? Realistic lifetime electron tube got some cheap costume jewelry there got a calculator victor pl8000 wow ust500 don't know I'll look that up what is this for fordham number 30 Looks like it's broken, whatever it is. Maybe, no, that yeah, looks broken to me. Maybe not. I'll look that up. This looks like a ring sizer. Very heavy duty one. Like one you'd use in actual working on jewelry. The name on it there, not familiar with that. But I'll look it up. Oh, this is a good, it's a good item. The Streamlight Stylus Pro, and it works. Streamlight, good brand, a flashlight. Let's see if we got a bunch of lighters in there. Is this a knife? Ugh. Oh no, it's a little slide caliper there. Nice. Cool vintage tool. Some more costume jewelry, looks like down there. A bunch of lighters. Oh, and in there, a bunch of real crusty looking change. All right, I'll sort through it. Oh, here, what's this? Battery, motorcycle battery. All right, this box doesn't look too exciting. We got a couple of sink pop up, drain assemblies, got some razors. Looks like bathroom mods and ends. Looks like pretty much junk here. Let's see what we've got here. This is paperwork for equipment. Serta, sort of Serta bed control. Get some for like a heated blanket. You know, sometimes items like that uh, can be worth some money on the, the resale market. So check stuff like that out. Got a bunch of, looks like cordless phone equipment here. Who is this made by? ST. It's a quartz clock. It is 24%. Lead crystal. But I don't see like a name on it. It's not like Waterford or anything. Plate there. Kind of a cool decorative piece. What else do we have? Well, that's pretty cool. Anything else exciting in here? What is this? Big lot, $6. More telephones, K 
KMC screwdriver. Oh, here we go. A little tape recorder. Those things are always, always sellable on eBay. Not really seeing anything else. We'll move on. Next box here. Got a nav U, old GPS. Got a aluminum bowl. Got a little tackle box there. Doesn't have anything in it. What's this? The old Cobra. Some sort of tool there. A camera. Security camera. What is this? Some sort of tool. Again, that's like the motor from some sort of tool. Got a circuit board here. We've got disk drive, floppy disk drive, another camera. Oh look, there's another one of those motors. This one's much larger. And a Toshiba floppy disk reader. Alrighty, I'll clean this stuff up, move on. You may remember me saying that uh, this guy was a machinist. These have something to do with machining tools. Again, I don't know anything about that really at all, but these look like they're selling on eBay on the low end around like a couple hundred bucks a piece. So that would make my auction. That'd be fantastic if I could, even if I sold these for a hundred bucks a piece, let's say, because I don't know anything about them, don't know, you know, what kind of condition they're in. To sell them as is, a hundred bucks a piece, that almost pays for everything I bought, or goes a long way toward it. Here's the next box we're going to go through. Computer that was in this lot. Got a Bearcat Sport Cat 2000. Wireless keyboard. Got a bunch of those. Got a little container here. This thing's all broken. Looks like down in here. There's another radio. What else do we have? A pad of paper, some cords, a mouse, some telephones, other wires, flag holder. Looks like that's about it. Here's our next little box. On the top looks like we got a hacksaw. That looks like an expensive tool. We have to look it up because I don't know anything about this sort of thing. But. Oh, looks like we're missing a bunch of stuff in the back. I'll still look it up. Might have value as parts. Here we got. This is for watches, for taking the backs off of watches. It's just a cheap tool. We got several boxes here. What do these have in them? That's interesting. Little gemstones in there. That one's got little gemstones in it. What does this one have? Some more of those same little stones. Little torch attachments there. No name on this. Alright, close that. Let's see what's in here. Well, this is interesting. So we got some more jewelry pieces in here. throw it all over the place. It's like a watch band. Sort of computer board here. A little chip in there. Computer ink. Or printer ink. Got a bunch of little hammers. We've got a digital caliper. Just a cheap one. This little metal box here. Active employee file. Over here, what's in here? Bunch of these. I have no idea what those are. They look like tiny little needles. And we got some 
battery packs here and some calculators. What's in here? Whoa, some real tiny watch hands. Wowzers. And some cheap flashlights. They work though. Does this one work? And one socket. Stanley. All right. Here's our next box. Got some printer ink in there. Fondant forks. Cabinetry items. An old calculator. Hewitt Packard 21. Kind of cool. Got a ledger. We got, that looks like the fore end off of a gun, maybe. Greenlee. Okay, what's this? We got some sort of some sort of tools here. I have no idea what these are. I'm guessing they go with uh, the machinist tools, but what they are, what they go to, I have no idea. Okay, so that one's got a serial number on it. I know somebody I can ask, though, that will know, or might know, what a lot of this stuff is about, so. Teleflex Marine Heavy Duty U-Joint. Those might have some value. Got a filter wrench. Those actually I'll be able to use, little filing things. Attachment for a garden hose. I'm gonna pick this up out of the way. This is a uh, old iPhone. Got a bunch of things in here. What are these? R8 Call It. Empty. Those all seem to be empty. Let's see, this one's heavy. Let's see what's in here. Okay, okay. So these are those same things, just in in uh, packages. So it looks like I got a whole bunch of those. Yeah, these are all in there. All right. Well, hopefully those have some value. I'll look them up here in a second. some sort of notebook here in the bottom. All right, here's the next box. Tissues here on top, little wire cutters, wire stripper. Oh, look at this, this is a good little item, little voice recorder. This one actually has a base that it sits on. So I have to look that up. Looks like we've got another voice recorder here. Torch. More electronics, a holster. Smith & Wesson tin. For a knife, and the knife's not there. We've got this. A watch there. Bunch of cords, it looks like, in here. Ring photo. What is this? Oh, it's film. All right. Here's the next box we're going to do. Bunch of envelopes. Inside. Looks like a bunch of blades. Now there was a meat saw at this auction that sold, and those to me look like meat saw blades. So, yeah, so 138, 138, I don't know anything about these sort of blades, 138, 138, and then here's a whole bunch, 102, so maybe those are lengths of 
the blade. I'll have to look into that a little bit. And then it looks like we got a bunch of uh, bulbs here. And over here, roach killer, spray enamel. Alrighty, this box was well, one of the boxes that was in a lot that I paid the most for. I paid $85 for the lot that this box was a part of. And what made it so expensive was this box because of the snap-on screwdriver set that was in here. Uh, I had several people come up to me after I bought this who tried to buy it off of me. And I took offers, but I didn't get any offers that were better than what I thought I could do online. So, online it will go. I didn't even check to see if they were all here. I just saw several. And one more little one. Some other decent tools in here. And there was, I think, two other boxes in this lot. So quite a few. It's in here. A bunch of small tools. Bunch of uh, miscellaneous drivers. Other oh, just miscellaneous tools down in here. What is this? A little sharpening stone. It's nice. All right, well, I don't see the other uh, snap-on screwdriver in there, but seven out of the eight is pretty good. So as I was going through that um, box, I found this, which is silver solder, pretty expensive stuff, decent little find, and then uh, this necklace was in there as well, and it's sterling silver necklace. And there's also a little baggie here that's got some sort of little stone in it. Here's the second box that was part of that $85 lot. Tools, yeah. Uh, so we've got medium sized vise in there, fuller, three and a half inch vise. It's, uh, looks like it's in working condition. Not great shape, but Decent little vice vices. Uh, I, I never had trouble selling them. Got a decent hitch here, a ball on it. Bunch of air tools. Air Lux pneumatics. Not familiar. So I'm not seeing high dollar stuff here. USA marked. Let's see another name on there though. It's, it's got USA engraved in it and Japan stamped on it. Dot Co. Incorporated. Hmm, not familiar. And then in here, it looks like we got a bunch of. Man. I'm guessing that has to do something with his machining type of work, but what that is, I have no idea some wrenches in there as well. That's all I really see in there. A decent box though. This is the last box out of that $85 lot. Yeah. All right. So we got this tool, which I'm not familiar with. Got to look it up. Oh, got a penny in there. Screwdriver and miscellaneous sockets it looks like. This is my last box of just tools that came out of this auction and I probably paid too much money for this box. I paid $35. <clears throat> There's a skill saw in here. It's not in very good shape. It's battery powered. Don't have any batteries. Uh, there was this though. Nice Makita uh, belt sander there. It needs to be cleaned up but it's really not 
very bad shape. We do have a hyper tough like a grinder there. A Ryobi hand planer. Pretty decent. Might have some value. We got a uh, just a cheap drill with a little clip on uh, tin snips. This can be a handy tool. Black and Decker sander. Not very valuable. This is decent though. Got a Ryobi grinder. And then this is Black and Decker. Oh, and then this as well. I think the value is definitely there. Um, and some of these tools I'll keep for myself. So uh, I, was, I was okay with $35 for this. All right, in here, looks like we got an old digital camera, very old. Set that aside. I think this is, feels like diabetes stuff. Yeah. It's in here. More of the same. Some tissue. Got an old radio. Got a Bearcat scanner. Got some bubble wrap. Always useful. This is why I bought it. I don't know if I paid maybe a dollar or two for this, but I bought it for this old Polaroid. Um, it's old instant cameras. They actually have a pretty decent resale market. Um, so that will pay for the box and then some, and then everything else is bonus. Another box with some odds and ends in it. Back scratcher, lamp, uh, calculator, some Zippo lighter fluid. Got some little file set, another towel, some odds and ends. Flashlight here. All right. Okay, this is all that I have left. I got a couple of uh, Dell keyboard mouse combinations. A uh, couple computers here, nothing too great about those. It's an older smart TV, which if it works, I plan to give it away. And then the only other great item that's in here is this right here. Big old caliper. Great brand there, <clears throat> worth a good bit of money. Uh, so I'll just get this stuff cleaned up, and then uh, we'll take a look at kind of the, the good items out of this load. Here's a quick look at some of the better eBay items that will be going on eBay right away out of this load of stuff. There's these reversible tapping attachments. Something to do with uh, the metal working that this guy did. Uh, pretty expensive little air tool there. Other odds and ends, there's those snap-on screwdrivers, some tools, several different uh, electronics, a Cobra radio scanner. Over here some stuff. Oh, here are all those watch crowns. Sheets, uh, a tablet, an Intel, or a next book tablet, works. Um, here's a little bit of gold that I found in there, 10 carat here, 14 carat here. Uh, it's about 30 bucks worth of gold by weight. Those are little pieces that might be gold, um, and if they are, I need to test them. If they are gold, probably another 20 bucks worth of gold there. Uh, here is silver. This is kind of a cool, made in Japan, but just cool details there three different little envelopes I found that have stones in them they look like small diamonds may or may not be Zippo lighter here oh and then I bought these two pocket watches at this auction this is an Illinois 19 jewel and this is a Hamilton 17 jewel nothing too fancy there but just kind of cool items. That's going to do it for this video. I think I'll make about $1,000 total once I sell everything that I bought at that auction. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button down below, leave a comment, uh, and check back for more content like this.